A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the North Island Interschool Show Jumping Series Finals here at the St. Peter's Equestrian Academy. This is the Show Jumping Series Finals that uh, was not able to take place at the end of last year due to uh, COVID-19. So we're delighted that we're able to bring this to you this weekend. The third in a series of uh, three jumping competitions and we've got the ponies starting uh, today on Saturday and uh, tomorrow we continue with the uh, hacks. We start off with our first class today, the 60 to 70 centimeter pony round one and this is run under article 238.2.1 and A2 which is uh, one round against the clock and our time allowed for this is 98 seconds. We welcome our judge, Di McGregor, this weekend, and also course designer, Philippa Howells, FEI level three course designer. And uh, Pip has built a course consisting of 11 obstacles and 13 efforts. So our first combination out on course this morning is uh, Ava Rose Ganley with Hot Ice. She rides for Fakatani Intermediate School, and uh, we'll just uh, very shortly get set to uh, ring the bell and get her underway. An elimination there for our first combination, Ava Rose Ganley and uh, Hot Ice for the third disobedience. So we bid them farewell, but we will see them back hopefully for the second round of this competition. So uh, next rider out on course uh, looks like a rider from St. Peter's. So is this Crystal? Is this Crystal? So that's the bell for Crystal riding for the St. Peter's Basilix. And uh, she rides Xena. Well, a great ride there, Crystal Fitzgerald and Zena for the St. Peter's Beslix. All clear in a time of 70.50 seconds. That's 70.50 and clear. Okay. 
So, <clears throat> um, our next rider out on course looks like it says Holly Halls and uh, B Swing Royal Whisper. Olivia Stone parting company with her little pony, Glenwood Winsome. So that does also result in an elimination. So next rider out on course. Could you just come over and let us know um, who you are, please? Because some of the riders are coming uh, a little out of order and some are not here yet. So we just want to be sure. So on course now, number six in our draw, Holly Halls with B-Swing Royal Whisper.
Well, just the four faults there for Holly Halls and Beeswing Royal Whisper. Her time, 90 seconds flat. So inside that 98 second time allowed and four faults for Holly Halls and Beeswing Royal Whisper. On course now. Next to go is Zoe Newman, number eight in the draw, and Zoe rides Peanut for St. Peter's. Well, a lovely ride there, Zoe Newman and uh, Peanut. A very cute little combination there. Coming home in a time of 77.74 seconds and uh, just the four faults, but little Peanut not quite liking the look of those uh, wavy colored planks. So great riding there, Zoe Newman and Peanut. Next to go is Ella Smith, number nine in the draw. And Alice is riding Galaxy Limited Edition. She rides for Carmel College Flyers. Sorry, Ella Smith. Just a reminder once again, uh, folks, that uh, mask wearing is compulsory, please. So we do require all um, people to wear masks, apart from the competitors when they're riders. And masks must be worn correctly as well, so please ensure that they are up uh, covering the noses.
Well, a great ride there and a new leader in the competition. All clear for Ella Smith with Galaxy Limited Edition. Her time at 69.55 seconds, 69.55 and all clear. So Ella riding for the Carmel College Flyers and certainly flying around that course today. So this is run under an A2, so that's one round against the clock with a time allowed of 98 seconds. So first clear round uh, in the quickest time, Ella Smith with Galaxy Limited Edition, 69.55. And she's followed by our second clear, Crystal Fitzgerald and Zena, who stopped the clock at 70.50 seconds. The bell goes now for Lily Isaac and Daisy May, and they ride for the Fakatani School's gold team. eighty two point five eight seconds no time faults no jumping faults so that's clear round number three from Lily Isaac with uh, Daisy May riding for Fokotani gold team and that slots her unofficially into uh, third place next on course is Grace Gower she rides the sprog for Tewamutu College's blue team
Okay, so uh, looks like an elected uh, Grace Gower and the Sprog for Tewamutu College Blue. We go now to Kiri Ormsby and Magic riding for the Dio Flying Flamingos. So an unfortunate dismount there for uh, Kiri Ormsby and uh, Magic. Kiri, can you just pop over to see the judges, please? And uh, next to go will be Sophia Schweitzer. But just hold on a second, Sophia. We'll give you your bell in just a moment.
Nicely done, 82.32 seconds. And uh, that's our fourth clear round. Sophia Schweitzer riding for John Paul College Black Team with Kaimai Hippie Chick. Tegan Collings is our next rider on course, and uh, she rides any for Hamilton Girls High School black team. Well, Tegan Collings clearly enjoying her se herself around the course there with any just a little disobedience at uh, the first part of the double at 4A. So finishing the round on a total of four faults, time of 92.15 seconds. Our next rider out on course is uh, Cleo Rowe Lyles. She rides Louie. Well, unfortunately, uh, things not quite going according to plan today for Chloe, Roe, Lyles and uh, Louis. So that third disobedience does result in elimination. But we'll see them back in the second round. And our next rider is uh, Olive Rose Gofton. And uh, Olive rides Max. 
for St. Peter's School. Nicely done. She'll be uh, chuffed to bits with that one. Olive Rose Gofton competing, I think, for the first time for St. Peter's and Max all clear in a time of 77.92 seconds. That's 77.92 and uh, all clear. A big smile as she makes her way out of the arena. And uh, unofficially, that slots her into uh, third place as the third quickest of our clear rounds. Our next rider in this 60, 70 centimeter pony first round is Zara McDonald, and she rides Maho Moonjay. Zara is riding for Carmel College Stars. And uh, lots of cheers coming from uh, the supporters of uh, Carmel College over on the far side of the arena. Great to see you guys here supporting the North Island Interschools Show Jumping Final Series. If you've just tuned in to the uh, live stream through uh, jxsport.tv, this is the finals of the jumping series from 2021 that unfortunately wasn't able to be held last year due to uh, COVID-19. So thrilled to be able to bring this to you this weekend. the uh, St. Peter's Equestrian Academy brings uh, six competitions a year, three dressage and three show jumping competitions. And uh, it's a series that they uh, run through the year and uh, culminating in, of course, the uh, North Island Interschools Show Jumping Finals and North Island Interschools Dressage Finals. So check out the Evo events calendar for uh, those new series starting for 2022. Great riding there for Zara McDonald and uh, Maho Moonjay all clear. Time of uh, 64.16 seconds, 64.16 and uh, all clear. So a uh, new leader in the competition unofficially. Great time there from young Zara. 
And as I mentioned earlier, this class is run as an A2, so one round, one round against the clock. So that time to beat now is uh, 64.16 seconds. So well done, Zara McDonald and Maho Moon Jay. Madison Goldsbury receives her bell, number 18 in our draw, and she rides Spots of Magic. She's uh, Zara's teammate, also riding for the Carmel College Stars. And uh, so she'll be looking to uh, do a lovely clear round as well and pick up some more valuable <coughs> points. We have the ponies competing today and uh, the hacks compete tomorrow. And the teams for each of these uh, schools are spread out over the two days. Some have a combination of um, pony and hack riders. And so the finals and the final team placings will be determined tomorrow after the hacks have competed. Big thank you as well to our sponsors. Of course, the live stream being brought to you by Sky Sport Next. And we also acknowledge uh, Cambridge Grains, who are the sponsors of uh, the lovely team winning ribbons and rugs, which we'll see this weekend. And we'll have a chat to uh, Cambridge Grains later on this weekend as well. So on course now, spots of magic for Madison Goldsbury. So Madison Goldsbury, Spots of Magic, finished their round with a total of 12 jump faults in a time of 92.02 seconds. So a couple of little uh, disobediences there. And for those of you uh, unfamiliar with the rules of show jumping, it's four faults for the first disobedience, eight faults for the second, and uh, elimination for the third if it's a meter 30 and below. We go now to Zoe Adams, number 19 in the draw, with Poppy. And Zoe rides for Hillcrest High School. So six clear rounds at this stage and uh, currently in the lead individually is Zara McDonald with uh, Maho Moon J. Well, the clear round's coming uh, thick and fast now. 87.83 seconds is the time to complete for Zoe Adams and Poppy. 87.83 seconds and all clear. So our seventh clear round there. 
and uh, that will uh, that will pop her unofficially into uh, seventh place. We go now to uh, Lily Funnel, number twenty in the draw, and Lily comes to us this morning riding Squire. Lily is originally from Taupo, and. Uh, rides for the St. Peter's Dragons. And uh, once again, we'd like to acknowledge Cambridge Grains, who are the sponsors this weekend of the winning uh, ribbons and rugs. And of course, we'll uh, find out who those winners are after tomorrow's competition. But for those of you who've made the trip uh, down to Cambridge this weekend, if you're short of uh, feed or need to top up for the weekend, then Cambridge Grains is open today until 12 p.m. So if anybody needs to pop out and pick up any last minute um, supplies then you could pop to Cambridge Grains they're just a few minutes away from St Peter's School on Abergeldy Drive A nice ride from young Lily Funnel with Squire for the St. Peter's Dragons. Her time, 66.93 seconds, 66.93, and uh, all clear. So a very uh, quick time there, just slots her into second place unofficially behind Zara McDonald, whose time was 64.16 seconds. So Jessica Rose Young on course now, young lady from Ohaupo, and she rides Eastdale Gucci, an 11-year-old thoroughbred cross mare, an English riding pony by Falconhurst Flashdance, bred by Julie Douglas. They've had some success out and about on the show circuit with some placings at the uh, Taupo Christmas Classic competitions a wee while ago. is Jessica's second year riding competitively on her pony and her goal is to ride at Horse of the Year in Show Hunter. Jessica Rose Young and East Del Gucci just finished their round with the four faults and uh, their time 73.21 seconds. 73.21 and four faults. Elizabeth Pennington Leaney is our next rider to go. She rides Bella for the St. Peter's Minotaurs.
So our judge confirms total of uh, 12 jump faults there for Elizabeth Pennington Leaney. She also picks up three time faults for a total of 15. Her time 109.14 seconds. As per the uh, rules of show, jumping for each uh, block of four seconds outside the time allowed, then one time fault is incurred. So that's uh, three time faults and 12 jump faults. Michaela Rogers next on course. She rides Mi Biachi for the Cambridge High School Navy team. As well as uh, horse riding, Michaela also plays competitive netball and is well known on the kids' carts racing circuit where she's won numerous titles with her racing ponies. Mi Biachi is a 10-year-old uh, skewballed mare. Two rails coming down for Michaela Rogers and Mibiachi, so she finishes with eight jump faults and a time of 73.07 seconds. That's 73.07 and eight faults. Number 23 in the ring now. This is Zoe Garland. She rides for Teo Amutu Intermediate and she rides the gelding known as Galaxy Game Changer known as Molly back at home. Zoe is no stranger to competition, having competed successfully at Horse of the Year since she was five years old in showing and also in show hunter. So Zoe Garland and Galaxy Game Changer 
have a pick up a few faults, a couple rails down and a disobedience. So 12 jump faults. There'll be some time faults possibly as well. Twelve jump plus uh, six uh, seconds added to the time of ninety-two means total of ninety-eight was her time. So still inside the time allowed. So no time penalties. Just the twelve jump faults for Zoe Garland and Galaxy Game Changer. The bell goes for Sophie McQuaid and Kingsley Escapade. Sophie rides for Metamata College. Sophie McQuaid and Kingsley Escapade, that third disobedience uh, resulting in an elimination. So we bid them farewell. We'll see them back for the second round a little later on. And we go now to Rachel Lemire. She rides bear for Hamilton Girls High School gold team. Rachel's had a fair amount of experience and uh, has formed a good partnership uh, with her pony. They do everything together and enjoy all pony club activities and also cruising around at home with uh, no tack on. Once again, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our sponsors this weekend, Cambridge Grains, who are the sponsors of the winners' rugs and ribbons that we'll see on tomorrow after the uh, horses have competed and those of you in need of um, any last minute supplements shampoos or feed if you've traveled down here for the weekend Cambridge Grains is open today until 12 o'clock so uh, feel free to nip over the road they're just uh, up Peak Road and on uh, off Racecourse Road and Abigeldy Road
Rachel Lemire and Bear finish with uh, eight jump faults. They also incur four time faults for a total of 12. Their time 110.34 seconds. So eight jump faults, four time faults, total of 12. So next on course, we should have uh, Casey Dixon from Teoamutu College White Team, and she rides the eight-year-old skewbald mare known as Albi Frank. Well, a lovely round there, Casey Dixon and Albi Frank. Just a late rail at fence number nine, so they do complete the round with uh, four jump faults. Good time, though, 72.01 seconds, 72.01 and four faults. So we're down to the final uh, four riders, uh, according to the draw that I have. And uh, on course now, Nelly Jaffairs. Number 27 in our draw aboard X marks the spot. An 11 year old Appaloosa gelding. And Nelly is riding for Meta Meta Intermediate.
Nellie Jaffairs, X marks the spot, just a rail coming down in the double at 8B. So uh, she finishes her round with four jump faults, time of 84.43 seconds. Just a few riders to go in this first class of the North Island Inter-School Show Jumping Final Series for 2021. And that's the bell now for Holly Innes with Bonzo Crunch. Holly originally from Te Oamutu and rides for the Dio Queen Bees. Well, a very good time there set by Holly Innes and uh, Bonzo Crunch, 65.38 seconds. That uh, would have been the second fastest time, but uh, four faults, unfortunately, at fence number five. So 65.38 seconds and four faults for Holly Innes and Bonzo Crunch. You, Lauren. Lauren Phillips is next on course. She rides the Dun Mare known as Ruby Blue for Sacred Heart Girls College in Hamilton. All clear for Lauren Phillips and Ruby Blue. Nicely done. Time of 70.10 seconds. 70.10. Slots are unofficially into uh, fourth place, but of course we will get the official confirmation from our judge, Di McGregor, of those individual placings. And our top six will come into the ring for the prize presentation. It will be a mounted prize presentation. 
and uh, we please ask that riders also wear their face masks when they come in for the presentation. Thank you very much. Final combination, I believe, on course now, Addison Dingwall with KT Ginger Ninja. Addison is riding for the Te Wamutu Intermediate Team, and uh, Ginger Ninja, apparently a five-year-old uh, thoroughbred mare by Furlax out of Killer Looks by City on a Hill, bred by Rich Hill Thoroughbreds. jump. Our judge confirms total of uh, 16 jump faults, one time fault, total of 17 for Addison Dingwall and Katie Ginger Ninja. Our next rider is uh, Alison Brunton, and she rides Onatai Fire and Ice. Alison Brunton and uh, Onatai Fire and Ice all clear, stopping the clock at 61.59 seconds. A very, very quick time indeed, and uh, by my reckoning, that uh, puts her straight to the top of the leaderboard. I believe that concludes the first class, the 60 to 70 centimetre ponies first round. We will um, just confirm those top six placings, 
and we'll have the riders come back in for the individual prize presentation. So we're just going to confirm the top six placings with our judge before we call those placings out. And riders, you must please wear your face masks when you come in for the prize presentation. We'll bring you those results in just a moment. So those confirmed uh, placings for the first class, 60 to 70 centimetre pony round one. In first place, Alison Brunton, Onatai, Fire and Ice, all clear in the quickest time of 61.59 seconds. Second place, Zara McDonald and Maho Moon Jay. Big uh, team supporting Zara. In uh, third place... Lily Funnel and Squire Lily was clear in 66.93 seconds. In fourth place, Ella Smith and Galaxy Limited Edition. Ella was clear in 69.55 seconds. Fifth place goes to Lauren Phillips and Ruby Blue. They were clear in 70.10 seconds. And our sixth and final place going to Crystal Fitzgerald and Zena, who were clear in 70.50 seconds. So congratulations, riders, and if you'd like to make your way into the arena and our facilities manager and uh, events director, Leanne Smith, will do the honours. For those of you uh, watching via the live stream through jxsport.tv, brought to you by Sky Sport Next. This is the prize presentation of our first class today. This is the North Island Interschools Show Jumping Final Series for 2021. 
And the uh, winner's ribbon going on to Alison Brunton, Onatai Fire and Ice, who were the quickest clear round. This class run as one round against the clock and A2. They were clear in 61.59 seconds. Our second place getter, Zara McDonald and Maho Moonjay, riding for the Carmel College Stars and a big support team there from Carmel College cheering her on. Third place going to Lily Funnel, riding for the St. Peter's Dragons. Lily's time at 66.93 seconds and clear. Our fourth place getter, Ella Smith, Galaxy Limited Edition, also riding for the Carmel College Flyers. So uh, Carmel College uh, certainly doing very well in this first round of the Pony 60, 70 centimeter class. In fifth place, Lauren Phillips and Ruby Blue. Lauren was clear in a time of 70.10 seconds. And finally in sixth place, Crystal Fitzgerald and Zena, who we saw out first thing this morning and uh, they gave us our very first clear round. So uh, well done. Big thank you once again to Cambridge Grains, the uh, sponsors this weekend. And uh, just a reminder that if you're short of feed, supplements or shampoo, they are open until midday today. So uh, pop on down and uh, pick up anything you need for the weekend. So congratulations to our winner, Alison Brunton, and our place getters. And uh, when you're ready, Alison, if you'd like to lead the rest of the riders off in the victory lap. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. Your winner, Alison Brunton, followed by Zara McDonald, Lily Funnel, Ella Smith, Lauren Phillips, and Crystal Fitzgerald. So a great first round there and well done to the winner and place getters. We're going to uh, move straight on now with our next class and this will be round two for the ponies, 60 to 70 centimetres. Previously we have uh, gone through all of the heights and then round two starts once we've finished all four of the first classes. But um, with uh, the restrictions from COVID-19, we will have uh, both rounds first so that those riders uh, can then be done and be on their way so that we stay within the uh, restricted numbers here at the St. Peter's Equestrian Academy. So we'll be back with round two in just a moment.
just uh, about ready to start with uh, round two, class number five, the 60 to 70 centimetre pony second round. And uh, this is uh, run under article 2382.2, so one round with an instant jump off. Time allowed for the first round is 98 seconds, and uh, if the riders go clear, then they receive the bell. They receive a bell to do um, their instant jump off. And the jump off round for this class is uh, starts at uh, fence number five, six, seven, eight A, eight B, three, and fence 13. So first out on course is Zara McDonald with Maho Moon Jay. Zara finished in uh, second place in the first round, did a lovely clear, and she rides for Carmel College Stars. Well, that was all clear there for Zara McDonald and Maho Moonjay. Time is right, 74.23, so now she receives the bell for her jump off. Just a reminder, folks, once again, we must uh, have our masks on at this event. Need to have the masks on at the, this uh, show jumping event. Well, a nice effort there, Zara McDonald and Maho Moon Jay. Just a little uh, disobedience there coming into fence number three. I think just a little bit of uh, an angle and uh, surprised her pony. So she incurs four faults at that uh, fence. Four faults for the jump off. Time of 42.59 seconds. So great start for Zara McDonald and Maho Moon Jay. Jessica Rose Young on course now with uh, Eastdale Gucci. <coughs>
So we go now to our next combination, Tegan Collings, and she rides any. Tegan rides for Hamilton Girls High School Black Team. So Tegan just uh, finishes the round with four faults. Time of 74.35 seconds, 74.35 and four faults. Next on course is Kiri Ormsby and um, Kiri rides magic. <laughs> Kiri riding for the Waikato Dio Flying Flamingos. Yeah. 
Well, unfortunately, uh, Kiri exceeds those um, disobediences. So the third uh, disobedience resulting in an elimination for them. Things not going quite their way today, but uh, hopefully we'll see them back for another show. So Elizabeth Pennington Leaney is our next rider to go at number five in the draw. <coughs> She's from uh, Cambridge as well as uh, show jumping. She does mounted games and was uh, first in the B final at Horse of the Year. She rides Wakefield Belladonna, a four and a half year old mare that uh, Elizabeth has had since she was nine months old and she's produced her herself. So this is their first competition together. Elizabeth uh, Pennington Leaney clear in the first round, just four faults in the second round, and a time of 60.83 seconds. 60.83 and four faults. We've got Addison Dingwall on course now, riding Katie Ginger Ninja. Addison is riding for Teo Amutu Intermediate. <laughs>
Well, Addison Dingwall and KT Ginger Ninja. All clear. She'll be absolutely stoked with that. She had a couple of disobediences in her first round this morning, but uh, double clear for them um, in this competition. So great riding there. She stops the clock at 40.08 seconds, 40.08, well inside the 64-second time allowed. And uh, unofficially pops her into the lead as the only double clear in the competition. So well done to Addison Dingwall and KT Ginger Ninja. Well, hopefully uh, this opens the door for more clear rounds. And we go now to Rachel Lemire, number seven in the draw. And Rachel is riding Bear. Two rails down for a total of eight jump faults for Rachel Lemire and Bear. Time of 60.41 seconds, 60.41 and eight faults. Sophia Schweitzer is next on course and uh, she rides Kaimai Hippie Chick. 16-year-old Welsh cob mare by Arawa Tani Mahuta out of Minbara Lady Jessica read by Rachel Reaney and owned by Becky Schweitzer. They did a lovely clear in their first uh, competition this morning. Just uh, not quite quick enough uh, to be on our leaderboard, but certainly a good start to the competition for Sophia. She rides for John Paul College Black Team. And just a note, riders, once you have... Um, Completed your second round, um, if you're able to uh, depart from the St. Peter's Equestrian Academy just so that we can remain within the um, numbers restriction and follow correctly the COVID uh, rules and requirements. So once you've um, completed, because we will have riders uh, arriving who are coming to compete in the um, other classes, so once you've completed your rounds, if you could please uh, make your way out of the academy so that we remain within the uh, allowed numbers on the premises. Thank you.
So four faults in that uh, jump off round for Sophia Schweitzer and Kaimai Happy Chick. Their time 44.22 seconds, 44.22 and four faults. Just waiting for the uh, fence to go up. And uh, once that's up, we'll welcome on course Zoe Adams aboard Poppy. Zoe also jumped clear in her first round, just uh, wasn't quite quick enough to make it into our top six placings. But um, she'll be looking to uh, repeat that again today and hopefully go through to the jump off. Just the one double clear at this stage from Addison Dingwell and KT Ginger Ninja. They sit unofficially in the lead. And uh, once again, at the end of this class, we will have a mounted prize presentation for our top six. We're also judging this first round uh, on equitation. So a uh, judge will be looking for uh, nice uh, paces and style as the riders make their way around the course. So that's the bell now. We go to uh, Zoe Adams and Poppy for Hillcrest High School. Nicely done, Zoe Adams and Poppy, certainly on uh, form today. All clear, time of 54.23 seconds. So that slots are unofficially into second place behind uh, Addison Dingwall and Katie Ginger Ninja, their time 40.08 seconds. So our second uh, double clear in the competition. This is the uh, second round of the Pony 60 to 70 centimeter class. Zoe Garland making her way round to the start now. Number 10 in the draw. Zoe aboard 
the gelding known as Galaxy Game Changer, or Molly, as she's known at home. And Zoe's competed in showing as well as show hunter. Zoe Garland and Galaxy Game Changer have an early rail at fence number two. So finish with four faults, time of 60.90 seconds, 60.90 and four faults. Next to go is Alison Brunton and she rides Onatai Fire and Ice. Alison was the uh, winner of our first round this morning. So, sorry, Kaimai Fire and Ice. Sixty one point nine four seconds and just the one rail down for Alison Brunton with the uh, Ontai Fire and Ice for faults. Sixty one point nine four seconds. Crystal Fitzgerald receives her bell. She was the uh, first rider out this morning and uh, did a lovely clear to finish in sixth place with her pony Xena. Crystal rides for the St. Peter's Basilix.
Just a reminder once again that um, we need to enforce the mask wearing at this event so that we are within the um, COVID protection restrictions. So uh, please ensure that uh, masks are worn correctly, covering the mouth and nose. Thank you. Well, a good recovery there for uh, Crystal Fitzgerald and uh, Zena. Almost a parting of the ways, but uh, she clung on there and uh, pulled herself back into the saddle. So finishing with a total of eight jump faults and a time of 47.61 seconds in the jump off. 47.61 and eight faults. So just the two double clears at this stage from Edison Dingwall and uh, Zoe Adams. And sitting <coughs> on four faults, we've got Zara McDonald, Sophia Schweitzer, and Elizabeth Pennington Leaney. And on eight faults, Crystal Fitzgerald with Zena. So those are our top six at this stage of the competition. And the bell has gone now for Holly Halls and Beeswing Royal Whisper. So two rails come down for Holly Halls on her journey with Beeswing Royal Whisper. She finishes the round with eight jump faults, time of 61.53 seconds, 61.53 and eight jump faults. 
Madison Goldsbury is our next combination out on course. Madison rides uh, for the Carmel College Stars, who have a huge team of supporters here today. Fantastic to see them over there cheering in the corner, cheering on their teammates and classmates. And Madison rides Spots of Magic, 16-year-old uh, crossbred gelding owned by Sarah Goldsbury. And they've had some good uh, results and uh, wins in the G.J. Gardner Holmes Winter Show Jumping Series last winter. So Madison Goldsbury and Spots of Magic just uh, have a little uh, disobedience in the double. So finishing with four faults, time of 63.11 seconds, 63.11 and four faults. We go to number 14 in the draw. This is Lauren Phillips on course with uh, <coughs> Ruby Blue, lovely Dun Mare. Lauren riding for Sacred Heart Girls Hamilton and uh, they were clear in their first round this morning finishing individually in fifth place. Three rails come down on the journey for Lauren Phillips with uh, Ruby Blue, so she completes her round with 12 jump vaults, time of 61.58 seconds. Still just the two double clears and uh, four combinations who've gone through to the jump off. And uh, next to go in this class will be Sophie McQuaid. Sophie rides Kingsley Escapade. For Matamata College.
Well, Sophie McQuaid and Kingsley ex Escapade, she certainly had to work hard uh, to get around that course, but did a great job there. Um, finishes with, I believe, 16 jump faults. There'll be some time as well, I think. Oh, 90.09. So, nope, she's still inside the 98 second time allowed. So, just the 16 faults for Sophie McQuaid and Kingsley Escapade. Our next rider in this pony round two, 60 to 70 centimeter class, is Lily Fennell. And she rides Squire for the St. Peter's Dragons. Lily had a great uh, clear in her first round to finish in third place. So she'll be looking to rack up some more points for her team, the St. Peter's Dragons. So Lily Fennell and Squire, just a little disobedience at that Liverpool, unfortunately. So they do finish with four faults, time of 80.77 seconds, 80.77, and uh, four faults. Ella Smith on course now, and she rides Galaxy Limited Edition for Carmel College Flyers. You can hear them loud and clear cheering on their teammate, lovely to see. Ella was clear in the first round this morning and uh, finished in fourth place.
to the last, up and over the last. 32.62 is the call from our judge and more importantly, all clear for Ella Smith and Galaxy Limited Editions. So uh, she goes to the top of the leaderboard, pushing Addison Dingwall into second, Zoe Adam down to third, Zara McDonald down to fourth, Sophie Schweitzer into fifth and Elizabeth Pennington Leaney hanging on to sixth place. So three clears and three four falters sitting on our leaderboard at the moment. And uh, next on course, Olivia Stone, Glenwood Winsom. Great second round of competition we're seeing from uh, these ponies in the 60 to 70 centimeter class. If you've just joined us uh, via the live stream, this is the North Island Interschools Show Jumping Series Finals for 2021. Weren't able to hold this last year. The St. Peter's Equestrian Academy runs uh, three show jumping and three dressage competitions throughout the year. And uh, it's a series that culminates in a final, but uh, COVID, of course, causing all sorts of havoc on uh, all kinds of uh, sporting events last year and this year. So we're very pleased to be able to bring this to you this weekend. We've got the ponies competing today and of course we'll be back with the hacks tomorrow. And uh, in order to uh, stay within <coughs> the restricted numbers under the COVID protection framework, we ask that riders who have completed their second round, please um, make their way out of the Equestrian Academy as we have more riders arriving for the classes later in the day so we're just trying to keep those numbers under control so once you've finished your second round if you could please make your way out of the academy our sponsor this weekend is Cambridge Grains sponsoring the winning rugs and ribbons and uh, for those of you needing a top up of feed shampoo or supplements they are open today until 12 o'clock located on uh, Abigail the way just across the road off Peak Road so five minutes from school. So eight faults for Olivia Stone and Glenwood Winsome. Her time, 62.61 seconds, 62.61, eight faults. We go down now to Grace Gower, number 20 in the draw. And Grace rides the Sprog for Te Uamutu College Blue Team.
the Sprog for Grace Gower just has a, a rail down at uh, 8A in the first part of the double. So they finish with four jump faults, time of 62.74 seconds. That's the bell for number 21. This is Ava Rose Ganley, and she rides hot ice. That's a shame for Ava Rose Ganley. Hot ice, uh, not feeling too hot today, and that third disobedience resulting in an elimination for them. So we bid them farewell and go to our next rider, Olive Rose Gofton, aboard Max. Olive riding for St. Peter's, and she was clear in her first round this morning, so she'll be looking to uh, repeat that once again.
Well, that's a shame. Uh, two rails down for Olive Rose, Gofton and Max. 45.10 seconds, 45.10 and eight faults. So we'll just uh, confirm those top six uh, placings and um, while we uh, have the uh, riders out for the prize presentation, we're just going to raise the uh, jumps for our next class. We'll go back to class number two and bring you the 80 to 90 centimeter class. But we'll just confirm those placings. So we have the official confirmation and the winner in the of the class, very clear winner in Ella Smith and Galaxy Limited Edition. The quickest of the clear rounds coming home in a very quick time of 32.62 seconds. Second place going to Addison Dingwald and KT Ginger Ninja, clear in 40.08 seconds. In third place, Zoe Adams and Poppy were clear in 54.23 seconds. In fourth place, Fourth place, uh, Zara McDonald and Maho Moonjay finished with four faults, 42.59 seconds. In fifth place, Sophia Schweitzer and Kaimai Hippie Chick. They had four faults and finished in a time of 44.22 seconds. And finally, in sixth place, Elizabeth Pennington Leaney and Wakefield Belladonna, who had four faults in a time of 60.83 seconds. <coughs>
Facilities Manager for St Peter's Equestrian Academy, Leanne Smith, putting the uh, lovely winning ribbon there on our winner, Ella Smith and Galaxy Limited Edition. Stunning double clear round in the quickest time. And Ella riding for the Carmel College Flyers. So uh, she finished uh, fourth in her first round and uh, a good result finishing in first place in this second round. Second place going to Addison Dingwald and Katie Ginger Ninja. Addison riding for Teowamutu Intermediate. In third, Zoe Adams and Poppy. Good day for Zoe today, clear in the first round and a placing in this round. So he rides for Hillcrest High School. Our fourth place getter, Zara McDonald with Maho Moon Jay. Zara finished in second place in the first round. So she's uh, going home with a couple of ribbons today. Wonderful to see. And Zara riding for Carmel College Stars. Fifth place going to Sophia Schweitzer with Kaimai Hippie Chick. Sophia riding for the Jean Paul College Black Team. And finally, in sixth place, Elizabeth Pennington Leaney and Wakefield Belladonna. So, congratulations to our winner and place getters. And uh, when you're ready, Ella, if you'd like to lead everybody off in the victory lap, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we recognize our winner and place getters. Ella Smith, Addison Dingwall, Zoe Adams, Zara McDonald, Sophia Schweitzer, and Elizabeth Pennington Leaney. We also have the uh, results for the equitation part uh, of this round of, of this class and the winner of the equitation was Ella Smith with Galaxy Limited Edition. Second place, Olive Rose Gofton and Max. Third place, Zoe Adams and Poppy. In fourth place, Lily Funnel and Squire. In fifth place, Jessica Rose Young with Eastdale Gucci. And sixth place, Olivia Stone and Glenwood Winsome. So those are the equitation results. And riders, you can collect your ribbons from the Equestrian Academy classroom. So that concludes the um, 60 to 70 centimeter pony round two. And uh, we'll make some changes to the course before we come back with our next class. And that'll be the first round of the ponies, 80 to 90 centimeters.